straight into the headlines. As you know, Robert Mueller's full Russia report will be released Thursday morning, and President Trump seems to be calm and confident, knowing that the report will speak for itself. I'm kidding. Earlier today, <laughs> President Trump tweeted, no collusion, no obstruction. You have to admit, he is calmer. You know, he's tweeted those exact same words hundreds of times. And this is the first time he didn't use all caps. You know? <laughs> also, look at that. Look at that. Only one exclamation mark. <laughs> Our little boy's grown up. <laughs> you have to admit, though, tweeting the answer before the report is released somewhat takes all of the fun out of it, doesn't it? I think it would be way better to have a collusion reveal party, you know? <laughs> you pop a balloon, show if you colluded or not, you know? <laughs> in other Trump news, there's a new article about the day-to-day -day chaos in the White House that seems to highlight the cooling relationship between Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. Apparently, Trump now refuses to meet one-on-one -on -one with Pence. Instead, he invites several aides to sit in on the meetings. I don't understand this at all. Mike Pence looks so fun to be around. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you can't blame this on Trump. You can't. He originally thought he had been meeting with Pence one-on-one. -on -one. It turns out he was talking to a broom leaning against the wall. <laughs> Moving on, there was a big breakthrough in the world of science. Researchers recently created the world's first human heart using a 3D printer. The heart is made from human cells and, quote, patient-specific biological materials, which I believe is also the main ingredient in hot dogs. <laughs> right, it's... People are... It's an amazing, amazing story. I'm not sure about this. If my 3D heart printer gives me half the problems my regular printer does. <laughs> this will be bad news in the operating room. <laughs> what do you mean we're out of blood? I put a cartridge of blood in last week! This is <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this alarming new study on hygiene. According to a report, men's beards actually contain more harmful germs and bacteria than dog fur. <laughs> yeah. Men's beards are nastier than dog fur. On top of that, dogs don't try to make you listen to their indie folk album. <laughs> In addition to germs, the study also found that most men's beards contain traces of very passionate opinions on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> And finally, the makers of Chewy Chips Ahoy Cookies recently issued a recall because of an unexpected solidified ingredient that could cause adverse health effects. Yeah? It turns out Chips Ahoy Cookies aren't the health food you thought they were. <laughs> I mean, we should say we're joking about this, we are, but our thoughts are with the Cookie Monster at this difficult time. <laughs> the makers... <laughs> The makers of Chewy Chips Ahoy didn't really have much choice. It was either take them off the shelves or rebrand them as Chewy Chips a Tooth. <laughs> Shut up.